Welcome back to Market on Close. I'm Renita Young, and now it's time for Overlooked Stocks. And we're going to bring in George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent, right here on the TD Ameritrade Network. George, we're looking at an AI name, Live Person. This stock really had a pretty bearish day yesterday. It was down 60% on those disappointing earnings. Back up today a little bit. Tell us first, what is the core business of Live Person, ticker LPSN? Yeah, Renita, I mean, uh, the talk of the uh, last month, month and a half has been artificial intelligence and uh, Live Person is really one of these artificial intelligence companies that was really overlooked, uh, probably for a reason. There's some challenges with the business, I'll explain in a second, but effectively it's really a customer connectivity and conversation based platform. It's uh, essentially a call center as a service based company. Uh, try to try to call your cable company. I have, uh, there's no one there. The only way you can effectively interface uh, through uh, a cable company, at least mine, is through artificial intelligence and chat interface, and that's essentially what LivePerson provides the marketplace. Mm. So it's a customer, business to see or B2C, uh, business a customer-based interface, software, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and it actually competes with uh, a couple of behemoths out there. Uh, Microsoft actually purchased Nuance Technologies which is another business in the same area of the uh, enterprise connectivity software space in the R in the AI space, but also Five Nine Communications is another competitor. Now, Live Person, uh, it's certainly a small company. Market capitalization is only about three hundred million dollars, mm. and unfortunately for the company, uh, price wise, it's down about eighty percent over the last year. And yesterday, it reported earnings, which were actually quite a bit worse uh, than expected, uh, and it created a situation where the stock was down over 50%. Now, if you look at the earnings report, uh, the company lost about 55 cents a share. Uh, that was down from 26 cents of a loss last year, and the expectations were still uh, to be down about 33 cents compared to 26 cents last year. So they missed the estimates on earnings pretty bad. But nonetheless, uh, they did post 1.1% uh, growth in sales, uh, with uh, revenues did unfortunately miss the estimates at 122 million versus 126. Now, mm -hmm. on the back of that, uh, on the back of that earnings call, uh, Credit Suisse analysts are over looking at the company, and they actually see some potential here for the company at these levels, considering perhaps a restructuring of the business. And one of the reasons why the company missed both on sales and earnings is they actually had a trial uh, period which they were gonna be paid for with Medicare. Okay. So that's a potential great opportunity for live person, but the payment for that particular deal didn't come through in the quarter. And that was one of the reasons why they missed so dramatically and that's why the stock was down. But Credit Suisse now actually moved their target lower, more conservatively to about $5, uh, uh, whereas before it was $8, and now they've got a, uh, a neutral rating versus underperform rating on the stock, considering, again, that there may be opportunities in the company on a forward basis, just not in 2023. The, the, the profitability profile of the business, at least right now, based upon the earnings results yesterday, speaks towards profits in 2024, which, again, might be discounted better in, the, in this stock price as interest rates fall and, and things stabilize a little bit. That makes sense, and we'll definitely be looking out for that over the next few quarters. But listen, we haven't been able to get out away from AI lately. How much do you think it's a game yeah. changer for this particular type of business? Well, I think it's, it's certainly it's a core business for life person. Uh, you think about Microsoft, think about all the different businesses they have. I mean, they purchase nuanced technologies, which means there's huge demand for AI-based conversational interface, especially business to consumer aspects, anything that optimizes efficiencies, reduces workflow or, or workforce, improves uh, productivity, creates value. And, and Live Person has a technology that does create value, but the problem is, is you know, it, it's it's a company that's showing some contraction and growth over the last year, and that's because enterprise spending has been down. And Live Person is a pure player in the AI conversation software space, so. Their business has been down because businesses have been reluctant to adopt new technologies, especially as businesses have been cutting back on spending in the last year. But this company certainly is a pure player that has prospects going forward. It's just having a tough year. And so, you know, I can't say if this is the bottom of the stock. Uh, mm -hmm. It is certainly cheap based on price to sales. Uh, its sales are over 450 million a year and its market capitalization is only 300 million. But the challenge is its profitability profile, and it's still not profitable on a consistent basis, nor is it expected to be so until 2024. George, 
Very interesting stuff. I often wonder how they advance and make these uh, technologies more intuitive, you know, and able to actually hold the conversations. Right. But we'll have to leave it there. George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent, thank you so much and have a great weekend. You bet, Renita. Have a good weekend. Thanks.